Hey, what is going on guys, Karen here, and today I have a Cinema 4D tutorial for you guys. And uh, this could be the first in a little mini-series that I'm going to be doing. And uh, it's basically just going to be looking at all the tools within Cinema 4D that can, uh, that can help you with uh, modelling. And uh, how you can use them effectively, and how you can use them to make your model the best product it can be. So... Straight away, I'm just going to go grab some spheres, well, a, a sphere, just so uh, I can uh, use it as an example. And you want to make sure you have your object or your shape selected, and you just want to hit C on the keyboard. And then come over here to this little tab, and you want to select the four squares where one of them is orange. So one, two, three, four, and the, the fourth one is orange in the top left corner. So I'm going to select that. And then, as you can see, as I hover over each plane in the sphere, I can now, after hitting C on the keyboard and selecting that uh, little button there, I can select each individual plane and uh, edit them. But this comes with uh, a slight effect. Well, not very. It's not exactly a slight effect. It comes with a big effect on the uh, other planes around them. So that's not the best way you can do it. So. I'm going to be looking at a, uh, I'm going to be showing you a tool that can uh, help you with this and uh, I'm just going to go grab it now, it's the uh, the bevel tool and you can find this uh, under structure and it's just down there and bevel, so you want to select it and then this little, uh, this little uh, attributes box will pop up and um, basically you want to ignore everything other than the inner offset and the extrusion now, I'll just show you what each of these does. So, so I'll put the extrusion onto 15 and the, uh, the inner offset to 0. And just click apply. As you can see on that plane that I selected, it has brought it out, extruded it by 15 centimeters. And if I press on this little up arrow up here, it will go out and out and out. Okay? So that, in its basic, most basic form, is what the extrusion... Uh, little extrusion meter thing, I guess you call it, does. And so I'm just going to select two more planes holding shift so I can uh, select multiple items. Now I'm going to put my extrusion back onto 15 and just hit apply so you can see what it looks like again. So it just looks pretty simple, just extruded it out by 15 centimeters. But the big difference to what I did before, uh, when I didn't, uh, before I opened the bevel tool, is that it doesn't affect the planes around it it just simply adds new planes and uh makes it like a little some kind of like a little cube on the side but it will fit perfectly to the shape whatever shape it may be using so now i'm going to go and undo that and i'm going to put the inner offset to five or i'm going to put it to ten so it's more visible and with the extrusion at 15 and none of the other um, options changed, and I'm just going to click apply again. And this time there's a big, big difference. So, if I just go over here and grab another sphere, just so I can, so it's easy to see the uh, actual difference. Just make it relatively easy to see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to hit C with uh, this sphere selected. And I'm just going to select three planes like I did before. And I'm going to grab the extrude tool. And I'm going to do it all the same I did again. Uh, that I did before. But with the inner offset on zero. Just so you can see the difference. And now if I zoom in. You can see that there is an easy, easily. Recognize, easily, easily recognizable difference. If I just select the first sphere again. You can see without even looking hard. You can see the difference. Basically. All the uh, inner offset does is it just whatever number you put into here. So say, say I put ten, like I did before. I had extrusion on fifteen and the inner offset on five on ten. And basically, whatever number you put in on the inner offset is how many centimeters it will make smaller. The um the as you can see, like like the little shape has like the uh, creates as kind of like a back square and then this little square at the front basically whatever number that you put in the inner offset over here so say I put five in it will be five centimeters smaller this outer square than it will be on than it is 
in the back square. So this will be for this back square here that is made up of these four triangles is five centimeters uh, bigger than the centimeter in here. But this time, because I put up the inner offset up to ten, is ten centimeters bigger. So that's pretty much all the inner offset does, and that's pretty much all you can do with this tool. It's a great tool to uh, if you to use in many ways. There's many different ways you can use it, but uh, that's up to you to find out. And so yeah, I hope this uh, tutorial helped. And um, yeah, if you'd like to see more, and uh, if you'd like to see more episodes of this, and you'd like to see what sort of tools. Uh, certain tools, a tutorial on a certain tool, and leave it in the comments below. And other than that, that's all for today, guys. I will see you next time.